Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I've been a collector all my life. When it comes to collecting, I live my life by the three C's. Is it cool? Is it collectible? And is it cheap? So come join me as I look to add more to my collection. Welcome to the hunt. Greetings and salutations everybody, it's IXLJ the OG along with Mr. B-Roll. And today we got a very special episode of The Hunt because as you can see, we are here at the totally rad Vintage Festival. Uh, and it's really cool, this place they go on like tour across the United States. They just so happen to be here in Indianapolis today. So there's all sorts of like retro stuff. Mr. b Rose already kind of scoping the place around. He's getting really antsy wanting to take me to some place right off the yeah. bat. So Got a little bit of sneak, please. So the sneak. He can't even talk. It's so exciting. Place. And I'm literally like a kid in the 90s again. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Well, that being said, let's get this hunt underway, shall we? All right, well, let's head on in and check out the Totally Rad Finish Festival. And like we said, right off the bat, B-Roll has got some goodies to show us. Yes, what? Uh, that's a, was that a dynamite yeah. kid? Here it is. Kevin Nash walkie-talkie. A walkie-talkie? Hold on. Because Goldberg's in here, too. Oh, so that's the set. I think so. Okay. I already see a Brett. Okay, I see this right off the bat. Right off the bat. It's a Bret Hart WCW figure I had as a kid, and it was funny because they put out this line. Uh, so they put out this line of action figures, and they were all like stupid. Like they had like I don't know. Like Bret Hart was a gangster. He was a mobster for some reason. I think Chris Jericho was like a lion, like a lion, like a circus guy because of the lion tamer and stuff. But yeah. Hold the phone on Bret Hart real quick. Okay. There's a cabbage patch. Is that an OG cabbage patch doll? I think so. My wife bought that for her mom. Okay. What's that? Yo! Oh, and it's got a Coles tag on it. That's dope. Mint and box, yo. Well, not quite mint and box. And I loved on these on the back, like it highlighted the action feature. That's dope. So this is for me? For you. Thanks, bro. Well, already we're scoring big here at the Totally Rad Finnage Festival. And this is a WW Raven. Cool thing is he's got like a Daredevil shirt. Oh my god, it's a WW Galoob like Bendem sting. The Bulldog. I feel like this bin right now, it is everything out of my childhood. A Raven WCW. We've got a Lex Luger WCW figure. The vibrating sting is in here, folks. Conan from at least, WCW. Are these the minifigures Dad I was talking about? Um, I don't know. I don't know. This, this bin is magical. Yes, it was. But there's so much more to check out here at the Totally Rad Vintage Festival. And as you can see, they got more than just wrestling figures at this particular booth. A ton of Toy Biz Marvel figures. I remember these still mutants. I had them. A little, some Animaniacs action. Some Batman, some Marvel. Oh, look at that Daredevil helmet. An Incredible Hulk. Pretty dope. And yo, check out this Batman bank. Man, this brings back some good memories. Okay, significance of this. This was like in the Batman 1989 cereal box. This would be like on there. I had a ton of these. Because that cereal was the bomb.com. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, Mr. B-Roll. And hey, speaking of B-Roll, we found some goodies here. We got some WCW Grip and Flips, a Macho Man and DDP figure. Here we got some classic superstars. And check out the Hulk Hogan camera. And speaking of the Hulkster, here's the classic Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy. And look, they also got the Macho Man WCW wrestling buddy. Check out the Road Dog foam finger. And oh my god, 
This is a Sting Kite Flyer. I remember this. Talk about random. And here's some more WSW goodies down here. God, Dad Hat would love this. Ah, uh, CMVHS is in the wild. Does my heart good. What Great Caesar's Ghost is that? A Wheel of Fortune video? Okay. I think that was with the board game. And oh, check out the Jurassic Park vehicle. Ah, oh, the Barney chair. Classic 90s. And what the hell is this? Radical. Indeed. And here we got some retro video games. See some N64s. Ah, the Gargoyles VHS. I remember that like it's yesterday. Oh, we got a laser disc player here. And some pretty radical 90s action figures. Let's see what I did there. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this mint on card giant WSW figure. Pretty cool. Oh, Godzilla figures. And you can see here at the Totally Rad Finish Festival, it's a mixture of stuff, but I gotta tell you, there is a ton of clothes here. A lot of vintage clothes. But this is pretty dope. We got some vintage Blink-182 sweaters. And here's a pretty cool resting area if you want to just chill and take a minute away from shopping. The bears. Yo, check out this vintage Nickelodeon alarm clock. Oh man, I just feel like I teleported back into the 90s. Ooh, state of the art. Uh, the good old tried and true Tiger Electronic Games. And check out this beautiful array of VHS tapes we have on hand. Love the Pee Wee's collection. The Batman Superpowers collection. And I love that these are all sealed too. Ah, my bread and butter. Some wrestling tapes. Oh, I remember this. The best of SummerSlam. So this, I remember getting in a three pack from Sam's Club. And it had this and some other, two other videos with it. Uh, and WSW's best of series was amazing as well. Oh, this is pretty cool. The Max Headroom TV series on DVD, which I'm guessing is the American version. And over here, you can see a lot of different photography opportunities at the Totally Rad Vintage Festival. And yes, more VHSs. I love it. Oh, man. Stephen King's The Stand. Eight hours long. It was like a mini series, really. And what is this? Countdown to SummerSlam 94? I didn't know that was even a video. I remember that being a USA special, but I didn't know it was released on VHS. And look at this, a WrestleMania 14 highlights package video? Interesting. And Hubba, Hubba, I wasn't expecting to see this. Vintage Pinup Girl magazine? I'm just saying. I do respect this, though. I think it is pretty cool that um, these were on display. Whoa. TikTok before TikTok? I'm just saying. <laughs> a Kane WWF shirt. But not only a Kane WWF shirt, a Kane WWF racing shirt? Didn't even know it's existed, and oh, nothing screams 90s like a Reebok neon jacket, my friends. Oh, this is pretty cool. Check it out. They got like a $5 bin suitcase with all sorts of random clothing. And check it out. It's the king of the early 90s, The Simpsons. Anything Simpsons was so freaking popular, man. And I remember these basic t-shirts. Oh, look, a Disney MGM Studios fest. Ah, the starter jackets. This was essential 90s fashion, folks. Got some Blackhawks jacket, some Chicago Bulls, but wait. No Charlotte Hornets jacket, though. That was the epitome of starter jackets in the 90s. Facts. And check out this Dennis Robin poster at Oh, Kobe. And we got some starter hats, it looks like. God, these were the epitome of being cool in the 90s. Even if you had a Bob Heavens hat, too, I guess. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. They've got some final records at this booth. Let's check them out. Oh, 
it going? Welcome to Totally Rad. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. And speaking of awesome, check out that Shaquille O'Neal stand. Measure up the shack. Love it. Oh, got some Lakers shirts, some Grateful Dead shirts. Oh my God, look at that old Billy Joel shirt. And I love this recreating what a bedroom was like for a teenage boy and girl in the 90s. Ladies, does this look familiar? Especially you kids in the 90s. And the epitome of the 90s itself, the Tasmanian Devil and Bart Simpson. Doesn't get much cooler than Taz and Hammond. Oh, check out this signage we got here. Pretty cool. And wow, a Chris Jericho jersey from like the early 2000s area. Oh, we got some Hasbro's. Let's check these out. And already I see Crush. That's freaking awesome. You don't see him every day either. And that is a Butch Reed glue. Not to be confused with Ron Simmons. And speaking of hard to find, there's a Dusty Rhodes Hasbro as well. Oh, check out these pins. That's really taking me back. So when I worked at Blockbuster, I had a ton of these pins, man. And the movie theater, when I worked at a movie theater too. So yeah, I had a huge collection of these over the years and we would just get these for promotional material. You can see everything here from a Dr. Doolittle to Pocahontas, Remember the Titans, Inspector Gadget, Land Before Time, whatever. And whoa, speaking of promotional material, check out the Michael Jackson LA gear stand. And what a WSW Road Wild shirt from 98. And check out the Mick Foley Have a Nice Day shirt. ET Walkie Talkies. Man, this booth is speaking my language. And a Darkwing Duck Pink. Oh, I remember the Big Bad Beetleborgs like, guy or whatever his name was. Some Austin Powers figures. This booth is amazing. I respect the hell out of the Spuds McKenzie glassware. And we got a Colt 45 poster. Of course, trading cards, which was hugely popular when I was a kid. And oh, baby, some Imperial Universal Monsters. I may need to get these. And <laughs> check this out. Some Max Headroom candy-filled, like, dispensers or something. I've never seen those. And this is pretty awesome. Check out these WrestleMania 7 pins. Wow. And here we see the Barbie Dream House. The ever-elusive Barbie Dream House. And all sorts of other Barbie toys. And oh, yes. Knew we were going to come across some laser disc at some point. And look at these beautiful collector's edition sets. Oh, looks like we got an anime one there, too. Let's see what we got down here. Oh. We got some Temple Doom. We got Johnny Manomic. Ooh, the Warriors. Come out and play. And of course, you know they're gonna have the laser disc player here too as well. Ah, uh, check out this cavalcade of awesome VHS tapes they have here. Everything from some horror to some sports to right in my wheelhouse. Some pro wrestling. Oh, WW Mega Slam tape. I honestly don't remember that. Oh, uh, the Royal Rumble 1991. One of my favorite rumbles of all time. And oh, check it out. They got a Care Bears tape here as well. I love those big box VHSs too, man. And we got some more clothing over in this booth. And check out the Big Three poster with Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, and Kevin McHale. Celtic Pride, baby. And I love these 90s NBA Finals uh, shirts that had the big heads with the players in them and check out over here is the uh retro museum the very first ipod god i feel old and we got some nintendo game boys over here as well you can see the evolution of game boy now all this stuff is on display not for sale oh we got some hit clips music players i remember this it was like a little thing you would insert in and, and yeah see there's the robot thing it came with too man the 90s was an amazing time folks and here we've got the evolution of the phone there you see the classic paul Heyman. i'm gonna smack you in the head phone the briefcase for the phone all the way up to like the nokia's and blackberries and whatnot man it's crazy to think how el cell phones have evolved and here we've got a display of some accessories for Nintendo. We got the Super Scope for SNES, Robbie the Robot, of course the Power Glove and Virtual Boy. And I like this too. These are toys that were recalled. Check it out. We got the Sock and Boppers. Oh, Jabber Jobbers or whatever the hell these things were called. I remember those, man. Those things hurt, dude. Like a Cabbage Patch kid doll that was recalled because it was set on fire and all these deadly toys skip it the most deadliest of all lawn darts man and at this booth we got some hats and check out that beautiful orlando magic starter hat 
Homie, don't play that. Wow, look at these shirts over here. We're going way back, folks. Even a Magic Johnson Lakers shirt. And that thing looks pristine. Oh, and check it out. We found another Shaq stand. This one's for Pepsi. And now we found some kicks. I was wondering where we were going to find some sneakers here. Pretty dope. And what is this thing? It's Kevin Nash. Is that an eraser or something? I don't know. Oh, now this is a pretty cool idea. Retro bags. So for $3, you can get one of these baggies, and it's got some relics from the past. Like you've got like a Happy Meal toy, it looks like a trading card or cards. Oh, here's some with some cassette tapes. Oh, for three bucks. That ain't too bad. Ah, check out this wall of posters. And, oh, baby, what is that? I see a Godzilla poster. And guess what? You're coming home with me. And this booth's all for my juggalos and juggalettes. Got some ICP posters. Oh, check out that giant size Howard the Duck, like comic book slash magazine. Uh, Return of the Jedi coloring book. Pretty radical. Oh, and you know I love my creature from the Black Lagoon and anything Universal Monsters. And speaking of which, check out this giant size Dracula promoting the uh, Dracula on VHS. We got a Dracula watch. Man, the 90s, what I loved about it, is how they really brought back the Universal Monsters in the mid-90s were popular. That's a Five Will Goes West puppet thing there. Got some glasses. California Raisins. Screaming the 80s right there, my childhood. Check out the Garfield visor. Oh, we got an ALF doll. That's pretty dope. And oh, we got a sugar bear like thingy. And over here, this is the boys room, what it looked like in the 90s if you was a teenager. And yeah, somewhat accurate, I would say. Except my room was riddled more with wrestling posters, but that's nonetheless. Speaking of wrestling, we got a Fencer Command shirt and a WrestleMania 26 shirt. Okay, cool. I'm Batman. And speaking of wrestling, look at this. This is nuts. These are original San Francisco Toy Makers ECW action figures. And these things are pristine. And they've got some hard to get ones too, like Rhino, Mike Awesome, Raven. Steve Carino, Tajiri, Balls Mahoney, Axel Rotten, just to name a few. I've never seen this many on display that are in this good of shape. And B-Roll's pointing out they even got the cards that comes with them. And here's some Japanese cards. And, oh, we got a Mabel Bendham from the 90s. And we got some other loose figures here, some wrestling figures. Uh, Sting, San Francisco Toy Makers, Flash Funk. Uh, a luchador, I guess. And whoa, wow, an Alex Wright one. You don't see that every day. And ah, yes, I did this as a kid too, where I painted my WCW figures like NWO colors. And yep, I did it with a Hogan. Uh, and here we got some Happy Meal toys. I need me my Chicken McNugget buddies. And we got some trading cards here as well. Some Ninja Turtles, got some stickers, the Turtle Party Wagon, Cowabunga, dude. And I have to say, a movie from the 90s that I don't get think gets nearly enough love, the Flintstones movies. And they had some awesome toys from Mattel that came with it, too. Got some hats, some more hats over here. Loving the hats on display. And this is awesome. Some Atari video game manuals and of course no vintage festival will be complete without an arcade and I love how they really tried to recreate an arcade here love the carpet stuff just the aesthetics of this is freaking awesome ah and the tried and true Nintendo I tell you this day has been totally radical well this totally rad festival was like a time machine back in time. So much stuff for my childhood, our childhoods. It was pretty rad to say the least. It was totally rad. Even though, <laughs> even my better half had to come along. Yes, and it's a good thing she did because otherwise you would have spent your entire paycheck. <laughs> she bought more than me, quantity wise. But you spent it. Facts. Anyways, this was a phenomenal festival awesome and yes they had a ton of clothes here and stuff which was cool but i mean they had a bunch of other cool stuff too as well 
we well, totally recommend you check out the Totally Rad Finnish Festival, which is coming to a town near you. <laughs> well, let's go wrap it up for this hunt. I'm XLJ, the OG, joined by Mr. B-Roll. Miss, okay, Mrs. B roll, B roll's wife. My Tiff, better half. Her, his better half. There's only one way to end this, and it's with. What's up? <laughs> See you next time on the hunt.